We'll solve the problem uh, where we'll calculate the metacentric height and we'll see whether it is stable or not. So if you read this question carefully, you can see we have got a rectangle of pontin. So we can say it's kind of like, okay, let's say this is a rectangular pontin and all the dimensions are given. Right. So this pontin carries an empty 5 meter diameter boiler. So let's say um, this is a five meter diameter boiler okay yeah, forget about this so this is a five meter diameter boiler on top of the pontoon right so we know the weight um, here so that means the rectangular pontoon weight and the you know the, the boiler weight here the center of the gravity of the boiler and the pontoon are at their respective center along a vertical line so if we draw a line like this so we can say uh, this actually th here let's say this is g1 the center of gravity this is g2 this point is a just the bottom surface right and um, we can say this is a c this point c just for understanding so according to the cushion we can say Okay, this is the water level. Okay, this is the water. So that means this section, oops, that means this section it is underwater. Alright, so now according to the question, what is given here is this height up to from here to here. This height is 2.5 meter. Okay, and the height from here to here this is 5 meter so this is a 5 meter long diameter okay and 2.5 meter deep right so we know these dimensions according to the question would it be the metacentric height of the both the pontoon and the boiler in meters okay let's say um, the height from here to here this is actually haze okay so this is the submerged section and this small part it is just let's say it's on top of the water so this is the water surface or in other words we can say this is the free surface so this height is haze right so in this question what sort of information given guys we know the length length is 10 meter the width this is given 7 meter and uh, the height or the depthness it is given 2.5 meter right we need to calculate the metacentric height okay so when we'll calculate the metacentric height uh, we know the formula actually the mg this is equal you know the second moment of inertia minus uh, you know bg or gb over sorry not over it should be the volume the submerged section so that means if we actually want to calculate the meter centric height um, then we need the second moment of inertia we need this submerged section so that means we'll calculate this volume b we will calculate this i y y right and we need to calculate this g b if we want to calculate the g b g b it is actually um, i'll show you g b later on so we actually need then the the total of uh, you know the the center of gravity for the entire system minus the distance of the a b that means from the the buoyancy point so that's actually the total you know the flow chart we are going to follow this for this problem so initially um we need a g a b so now let's um, solve this problem what we will do is uh, we can write it down here look a if we calculate a g1 so this centroid this is actually the center of gravity it will be just half of this this height if we actually want to calculate a g1 a g1 we can say this is actually half of a c so which is half into 2.5 so 1.25 okay 1.25 similarly if we actually want to calculate the a g that means from here to here this distance so it will be you know this distance 
plus just half of this distance it is at the center so if we want to calculate from here to here so this one plus this so we can write down it is 2.5 plus 5 over 2 so this is actually the 5 so 5 over 2 so it is 2.5 so it will be actually the 5 meter so now we know ag1 and ag2 and for this question you see the weight the weight for the the pontoon if we say the weight for the pontoon is w1 this is given 686.7 kilonewton and the weight for the the boiler it is 588.6 kilonewton now if we actually want to calculate so this is the you know the center of gravity for this this is the center of gravity for this if you actually want to calculate the center of gravity for this whole system let's say this is actually the point g just we don't know we put it there so we'll calculate it so a g what will be the a g the center of gravity we know the formula um we discussed it during the lecture so a g i can just write it down the center of gravity for entire system for entire system the formula is um, we can write it here it is a g it will be you know the weight and the distance a g1 the w2 a g2 over w1 plus w2 um, you can remember this is actually the formula we discussed it during the lecture like how we calculate the center of gravity um, so that's if she all the moments the sum of all the moments so you know moment is the force and the corresponding distance and over you know the overall weight so here we have the weight two weights w and w2 and for for w1 um you can see oops yeah for the w1 and this is the distance so now we know all these values uh substitute the values here wn is 686.7 um, into ag1 we got it is 1.25 w2 is 588.6 ag2 is 5 and now sum of the wn 86.7 plus 588.6 so ag uh, will get it is 2.98 meter so this is the ag that means the center of gravity for the entire system right so um if we go back uh you you'll see here we got ag right so now we actually need to calculate a b a b is the distance from here to the uh, you know the the buoyancy point the buoyancy point where the buoyancy force is acting the so if we know that if we know the weight from the formula we know the weight the total weight it will be equal to the um, force a b if you can remember we solved another problem w this is equal a b this is the bind force so um, weight here we have the pontoon and the uh, the boiler so for weight it will be w n plus w2 and the bind force here it will act the upward directions isn't it so for the bind force um, we know the fv is it is actually the specific weight you know specific weight into the volume the volume this is the displaced water i'm not writing here the volume this is the displaced water when you put the boiler on then the amount of water displaced so um from this question if you look clearly guys uh, the specific the specific you see the specific density of the water it is given 10.106 okay so um, we can just write it down here we can just write it down here w1 plus w2 so the w1 it is actually 868.7 and w2 is 588.6 and the specific density is given 10.106 104 into the volume volume you know this is 
beryllium I mentioned earlier this is actually the displaced water the displaced water so that means how is the height for this section look here this if we actually want to calculate for the volume of the displaced water that means up to this so this height is haze so we can say haze into what is the length the length it is 10 meter and the weight it is 7 meter so this is the formula the height length and the weight so um, if we simplify this then we will get haze it is equal 1.5 on one point you know 853 1.853 okay meter so this is the height haze that means we have got this height haze so let's say that we have the the b is here the b is here where you know the, the buoyant force is acting so we actually need to calculate the and the the buoyant force it will be where is the position it will be center of the submerged section this is the submerged section so it will be just the center of the submerged section that means in other words we can say it is just half of this haze the b the position of b it will be half of this haze so we can just write it down here a b a b this is actually half of haze so half of and haze we get it is 1.853 so we'll get a b equal 0 0.91 um, 0 0.9015 meter this is a b okay this is we have got a b so now if we go back to the previous slide guys um, we know we need a b a g then we will we'll be able to calculate the g b okay or the bg so now we can just calculate from here then we need the second moment of inertia okay second moment of inertia for this is a rectangular shape this is a rectangular shape you know it is bd cube over 3 over 12 uh, the second moment of inertia formula you all didn't know so now we will write it down here this gb okay or bg you can say the bg it is actually the ag minus a b so a g here is 2.98 and a b it is 0 0.9015 so b g it will get 2.078 this is quite simple question i uh, just you need to practice now the second moment of inertia the second moment of uh, inertia about y y axis so if you oops if you guys look here of oh, okay somehow i missed that uh, it's just gone so it is the fountain it is the boiler so if you look from the top okay so then you will look it like this the you will look the length so let's say this is the y y axis we need to calculate the moment along the along this axis y y axis so you actually need to it is acting on the vertical direction this way so if you look at the top if it is the y y axis it's acting this way so we need to take about the length okay and the weight so when we'll calculate the second moment of inertia the second moment of inertia it is um if we if as i said if it is from the top view this is the y y axis so it will be like this way so the second moment of inertia it will be you know the the length this length in, into what is the width it is 7 over 12. we know the formula is you know a b q or b d q over 12. so as it is acting this way so initially okay what is the length this is 10 meter and the width okay so it will be 285.83 now we know we actually need to calculate the metacentric height which is gm i showed you earlier this is i y y over v minus bg 
So we already know BG from the previous calculation. We know BG. We calculated 2.078 BG. And we know the second moment of inertia about y y axis is this. So then we need this volume V. This is actually the volume of the displaced water. So we can write it volume of displaced water. So what will be the volume of the displaced water? We know the height, okay, the length and the width of that uh, rectangular cube. So height is we calculated h is equal to 1.853. You know, just we just calculated that the length is 10 and the weight is 7 so it will be um, you know okay I'll keep this on uh, like this okay so it will be 1 to 9.7 on so now we need to calculate the GM so GM IOIO is 285.83 V it is 1 to 9.7 on minus GB is 2.078 so GM we got this 0.125 so the meter centric you know the haze uh, haze is you know the meter centric height so this is we need to calculate it is but the pointer and put the boiler we calculated for this both system so we got it it is 0 0.125 which is positive which is positive so positive it means it is always always stable if gm this is um, positive then we can say this is actually above the center of gravity of the system and this it is the system is stable I'm repeating again this sign gm it is positive it means the meter centric height it is above the center of gravity of the system and which means it is positive so if it is which is stable Sorry, it is stable. So I can say it is stable. So if 